I'm Keith from Woodland Farm Brewery in Marcy, New York. I'm Tim from Berry Day Corn Brewing in Syracuse, New York, and we're here to find out Will, will it ferment? ferment? We do have a retraction from our previous episode. Unfortunately, after some further research, I found that Britannomyces is not historically connected to eggnog. Looked it up on Wikipedia, and uh, I just wanted to share that information with our viewers. Don't want them to believe in nonsense. And here is a list of some other retractions. Right now I'm opening a traditional cider called Stone Cutter from Scrumpy Oo in West Fulton, New York. Delicious complex ciders. This particular cider is still and appropriate. Why? Well, on our last episode, we did yeah, make that's right. our own cider. That's right. So along with our Scrumpy Oo, we can taste our buried wood cider today. Um, I'm assuming it fermented, so we'll have to do some tests to measure pH, see if that dropped at all, and check our sugar content, see what we got for alcohol. Well, before we taste these, we should probably uh, find someone to share them with. So let's bring on our friend Chris from the Evergreen. <laughs> Wonderful. Good, good, good. You like cider? Yeah, One for the audience. The world. There you go. So now we got to cut into that. Let's, um, let's drink these up. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that was a pretty good cider. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to compare to this one. We put a lot of time and energy and effort into this. And uh, let's see what happened. Take some measurements. You got your pH meter ready? I got it ready. Before we drink it, because we don't want to die, a little test here. So we measured our pH last week. Do you remember what it was at? I was at like 3.8 or something okay. like that. So it was already pretty acidic. Same. Yeah, drinkable. We shouldn't die. Uh, let's see how much alcohol we got. Was it 16? No, it was like 13.5. It doesn't matter, you know? Because, you know, they can watch it on the... Yeah. On the, on the YouTube's check last week's episode. Yeah, we don't keep good records up here, don't we? so that's all. You know, so it was like thirteen something, right? Um, now it's um, looks like minus point four degrees Plato. We got alcohol. We got alcohol. We did it. Let's get drunk. All right, well, let's try it. Let's see what we got. All right, let's give it a go. All right, before I talk about it, out of seven oranges, what do you rate this? Four oranges. Four and a half. I'm gonna split the difference, 4.125. That's about half, yeah, 4.125. I get a little sulfur on it, mm -hmm. which will age out. I'm not concerned. No, I mean, we can still get drunk. And... If it was a original uh, degree plate of 13.5, and it's now negative 0.4, how much alcohols are in it? 37s alcohols. <laughs> That's not true. You'll have, That's to, gonna be a You'll have to fact check week. that. If it was, we don't remember. We don't remember what the original gravity was because we don't take very good records. We've but been drinking a lot the last week too, so. If it was, yeah, New Year's. The holidays, Happy New Year's, Year's, and yeah. If it was 13.5 Plato to begin with, and it's now negative 0.4, you're right around 7.3% alcohol-ish. So, let's get drunk. Yeah. Cheers. Really? How would you describe that? I really get a, like a farty peach kind of a like yeah. expression. Like a good peachy fart. Surprisingly not apple at all. Right. Yeah, there's no apple. The scrumpy was totally all apple. Yeah, I would have given them the scrumpy like six and a half oranges. Out of six and a half oranges? Out of six and a quarter. That sounds about right, yeah. 
You might be getting a little bit of, a little bit of, I don't know. It, it did, did ferment. ferment. So it worked. Cider fermented, very easy. Enjoy it at home. Finish that later. Now, if you remember from episode one, we fermented almond nog with percentomyces. I hope we fermented. We tried. Well, we're gonna go ahead and leave that as a teaser. So our one viewer, number one fan, brought us some things to ferment. What'd you bring us? I brought us these delicious peaches here. Ooh. And I also brought us some Christmas cookies that are staling up. Mmm, my favorite. Recycle. I believe they are 2020 cookies. Oh, wow. That was a good vintage for cookies. Yes. Got a, you got some good stuff in there? Oh, I got a smiley. Ooh, got a Ooh. smiley in there. Got like a birthday cake looking confetti kind of deal. Oh, we got a Hershey kiss. That's Ooh. gonna be perfect. All right, we, we gotta do one more thing though. What do you think we should do? I don't know, I wish we had something else. Oh, will, will it, it ferment? ferment? Right, so right, right. we do have this leftover yeast from our, our last fermentation. Wait, what? Explain to me what is in the bottom of it. It's a goopy mess. Yeah, what so is this, is, this is called goop. Okay, I Got didn't it. drink that, did I? There was definitely some of that in there. We didn't, we didn't filter this at all. This is unfiltered, hazy cider okay. with goop. Um, so this is actually leftover yeast from the fermentation, and there's some other apple particles in there, I'm sure. But we can definitely use this for our fermentation. You want to save that. So for those of you it's at home, alive. you still got yeast. Uh, it's, it's alive, it's ready to go, ready to eat some more sugars. So let's use it. Do it. All right, so we got these peaches. Let's just use this mason jar. Whoa, mm, that looks good. That's a hazy it smells boy peachy. Right there. So these are our canned peaches. Nothing special. Um, opened by Chris himself. Is a professional. I also brought the peaches. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we need to take some measurements. Let's okay. get a, let's get a gravity reading. What do you think it is? What would you say? That's good. That's good. Okay. Yeah. So it's gonna ferment. <laughs> Do you want to at least take it's a? Sweet. Do we want to check the pH? Sure. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, hang on. Taste try. Interestingly mm. enough, we are at right about where the right about where the cider was. Three point eight four. Good. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so, what is in the bottom of that jug? This is our leftover yeast from the uh, cider fermentation. What happened to all the cider? We drank it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are we gonna do with that? Right. We are just gonna pitch some of this in here. We know we got sugars, because I tasted them. You tasted them. Let's see. Cool. Will it ferment? What's that? Uh, yeah, we need something that everybody has lying around the house. Maybe some sanitized saran wrap. Yes, make sure it's sterile, sanitized, or... What about this like piece of cardboard? Done. Cool. This is definitely ready to go. We've got yep. sugars from the peaches, True. and I'm sure there's other sugar in that juice and all that good stuff. Mm. What about preservatives in here? Oh. We have sliced peaches, apple, and pear juice. We've done Perfect. apple juice before. This is gonna be so good. Wow. It's like, um, and we got the yeast. There's so, citric acid in here, uh, so there's no sorbates or anything um, to stop us fermenting it. Let's see what happens. All right, so how long is it going to take? Uh, seven days a week. What temperature? Half a fortnight. Um, room temperature is probably adequate. Cool. Let's do it. We'll see. So, Chris, how are we going to process these cookies to turn them into well, something? Well, brought it tool match or cookie matching tool. Oh. oh. I think I have one of those at home. So it might be yours. Oh yeah yeah. Do you want the uh there's some bread in there. Yeah it helps keep the cookies moist for Santa. Oh alright. Right. He likes so, his, he likes them moist. So what are we doing here Keith? What is the uh process and what is the temperature well, we're doing? What are we what are we doing? As we, as we discussed, yeast needs sugar to make alcohol. We know that these cookies are loaded with it. Right. They've got sugar, but they've also got flour, which is starch. Yeast typically can't ferment that. Mm -hmm. So we need to break that down 
some way, somehow. Okay. How does that happen? It's kind of like brewing. Let's do a mash. Okay. Let's do a mini mash. Yeah, a little yeah, mini, mini mash. mash. Now, in order for these to convert, we need enzymes. I just took a bite out of one. So it's got enzymes okay. from my mouth. All right, that one's good. It's a good, good source for enzymes. Another source is malt. You're going to add malt in there, which we just happen to have around here because it yeah. is a brewery. Let's do it. Now, uh, you can also get Beano from the store, um, which is pure alpha amylase, which will um, break down pretty much any starch. Uh, what is the temperature in which we are trying to hit with this? I know that I there's know. a I range. I don't think it's doing anything right now. Well, it's not, it's not warm yet. Though. Oh. Chris, is, can you feel that? I, is, is it warm? No. Well, do, how do we get it warm? Uh, oh, warm water. Forget to add the warm water. water. Huh, water. How hot is this water? Uh, 70 C's. Watch your nuts. That's, is that enough or too much? Yeah, let's do this. You got a, you got your masher there? I got my masher here. I'm going to mash some uh, cookies in some warm water. Mmm. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Have you done this before? No, it, this is actually my first time. Oh, wow. With cookies or, I mean, you've brewed before though. Yeah. But you've never done cookies. Never, never done cookies. I can't believe it. So last week I promised our viewer that we would do a Christmas tree. I apologize, all I could find was this wreath, but uh, similar process, right? Made from Christmas trees. All right, so here we go. Allegedly. Stuff it in there really well. <laughs> And, and um, we're going to mash this as well, right? <laughs> How many CLs should I add to this? Well, I'd cover it. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Cool. Cool. And wait for it to cool. And we'll pitch, pitch some yeast. Some of our cider slurry. Yeah. All right. What could go wrong? Well, let's let that cool now. Just give it some time. Why do we have to let it cool? Uh, I worry if we pitch the yeast while it's hot, I just kill them right off. All right, so how cold? Like? Uh, yeah, I'd say room temperature. Okay. Lukewarm. Yeah. Like cheese. We're going to pour this in after it cools. Yep. See if it ferments. See if it ferments. And then you guys can high five next week. Okay. I can't wait to high five. So we're going to check back next week. Um, the Christmas tree, the peaches, and the cookies, and uh, see if we can get drunk from them. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. We're dreading. So, Chris, you excited? Oh, I've been waiting all week. Anticipation's been killing me. So, this might also kill you. We'll see. We'll find out. It's a little firm, and so, not just because of the building up of gas, it's like but it's like, it feels a little firm. Oh, boy. Um, we only have one glass because our very special guest has volunteered to, to chug the entire glass. Oh. oh. Hmm. Some chunks in there, but I don't look too bad. Not bad at all. Some floaters. Oh yeah. Hey. All right. So we should uh, definitely test this sucker. See what we got here. Oh, that's dropped way down below. Yeah. Kill you. So. <laughs> uh, that'll give you a bellyache. Uh, pH is 5.5, .5, which is unsafe to drink. Now, that doesn't mean it didn't yes. ferment. Let's see if it fermented. Okay, what do we got here? <sighs> So this one started at nine, nine one or something like that, eight nine, somewhere in that range. Sure did. I don't know if we got any movement there. It's too chunky. She's thick. She's thick, bro. So we got a reading of three point five, which means we have fermentation. However, the pH is quite high, and um, what do you think, Chris? You want to try it? I'm gonna pass this week. So will it ferment? Yes. Yeah, but should you drink it? 
No. Probably not. No, don't. All right. Well, we definitely cannot drink this, but we should still rate it somehow. And I kind of have a feeling with the holiday spices in it, it's probably going to be pretty aromatic. So let's just rate it based on aroma at least. Sounds good to me. Uh, can we, are we able to do negatives? No. No, all right. I'm gonna give it a five oranges out of six. Wow. The milky kind of thing. The milky afterbirth? The, the finish is yogurty, but like with kind of like a little bit of like Asiago cranked on it, you know? Yeah, it's very cheesy. Right, which, you know, in some circumstances some would be very good. But I, yeah, you know, I, I, so I would go, I would go high too. I mean, without tasting it, I would I would say probably six point one two five. Wow, you guys are oranges, generous. Uh, yeah. Oranges out of uh, how many? Seven, right? Seven. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. Well, I almost gagged, so I'd give it zero. Mm. So I'm Tim from Berry Acorn Brewing Company in Syracuse, New York. Chris from the Evergreen here in Syracuse. And Keith from Woodland Farm Brewery in Utica. So thank you for uh, viewing our wonderful YouTube sensation. You can subscribe right here. And uh, check back with us next week, and we'll see how our peaches, our cookies, and our Christmas wreath fermented. Follow us, Buried Acorn Brewing. Uh, you can follow the Evergreen. And also Woodland Farm Brewery. And uh, keep up with us on Eat Local New York as well. Also, too. <laughs> All right, so thanks for watching, and uh, tune in for our next episode when we find out Will, Will it ferment? ferment? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> Maybe.